But when it comes to the ley lines, what it is, you've got an energy grid just in above us, you know, whatever you want to call it, a dome, a ferment or something. And it got lines that go across and lines that go back, you know. A few people have seen them when they've been hallucinating, but nobody take them serious because they've been on mushrooms or whatever, right? But it connects to the energy grids which are below you. Now, the ones that are below you, at their highest point, and what I mean by their highest point is where it's is most powerful. So you want to do spells or they want to do some shit on us. These ones is where you got famous places like churches and cathedrals and... Um, Stonehenge in the UK, you know, these places is where the ley lines is strongest, you know, but the ley lines, they run through all the countries, everywhere, you know, it's just at certain points, which, funny enough, is the star, you know, you have the five-pointed star, now if you five-point the star on the earth, then you can work out on the five-point star where it's the strongest points, and what you'll find is they're the most powerful buildings on the earth that we know of. And, you know, they are usually places of worship or places of government and things like that. And that's because, obviously, underground, there's a lot of underground tunnels, you know, because we've got, like, eight levels of cities below us. And, um, yeah, they can do their shit. Right? So that's how they need certain power lines. And that's why when Beyonce and Jay-Z come to the UK, they went to certain places to visit. Now, these places they went to visit, that's... I'm guessing, is the highest point of energetic fields. Because Jay-Z, not stupid, man know about these things. So this is why they went to visit these places, you know? Because there was nothing interesting there. The public's probably thinking, why did they go there to visit? They're not going there for what you can see. They're going there for what they know about and the energetic field. And that's why when it comes to Stonehenge, if anybody's been there, you're not allowed to go up to the stones, you know, there's actually a, they don't show you this on the internet when you go have a look at photos, you just see the stones, but if you actually go there in real life, you're not allowed to go up there and touch them, you know, there's a big fence that goes all the way around, and there's a reason for that, because that is a major ley-lined uh, power grid, you know, you go up there certain times of the year when they have their solstice and stuff like that, this is when they, they're doing some real magic, you know, so when, you, when we all, Christmas and the bullshit, what do you think they're all doing right now? What do you think they're going to be doing on Christmas Day? You know, they're going to be on these ley lines, sacrificing things, doing some badness, you know? And then there's other people doing their other stuff, you know? It's not all bad, you know? There's probably people out there doing some real good stuff around this time. It just depends how you use the energy, you know? Because not everything is good and bad. That's why we live in a world that's duality, you know? You have a choice. Everything's a choice, you know? You have a knowledge and you could go curse everybody. You could have the knowledge and you could do good. But if you're going to go do good for everybody, it don't work in this world. Because this world is about money and they don't want you to do good and help people. 